Hello everybody, this is Tango, and welcome back to episode number two of Breaking Bites. <laughs> this is my brand new series where I write an absolutely ridiculous custom mod just so that you and I can share a laugh. These things are not meant to be played in any serious way. They're just meant to be crazy and just meant for you and I to get some amusement. Hopefully a chuckle or two out of it. And guys, I gotta say, episode number one, you gave me such a such an amazing response with the number of likes and the number of comments. I could tell you guys were excited about it, and trust me, it has made me very excited to to really push forward with this series. Uh, I, I'm just I'm loving the idea, and I want to keep keep making crazy little episodes here for you guys. So I need you guys to keep that up again. Hit that like button again if you want to see the series keep going, and leave those comments because I am going through every single one of them and compiling my list of favorites and put them on a separate little list and they are going to go into future episodes so keep them coming definitely now those of you that are exceptionally observant you might have noticed there's a few more chickens in this world it's really subtle really subtle you know you might have to you might have to really try and focus if to notice them but there are a few more here and the reason for that is because this episode is going to be about chickens. And more importantly, killing chickens. Because let's face it, they make a funny little sound when they die, and it amuses me. <laughs> and that's what this series is about. My amusement and your amusement. Hey, oh, this one thinks he's clever. There we go. So, I got lots of chickens to kill. I'm going to kill chickens in the morning. Kill chickens in the afternoon, I'm gonna kill chickens at night, I'm gonna kill chickens all day long. <sighs> and sometimes, after a long day of killing chickens, and your muscles ache, and you just don't have any energy left to kill any more chickens, the best thing to do is just take a long night's sleep and rest your bones. Oh, oh, man, there's nothing better than a good night's sleep after... Oh! 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 What is this? Oh, is that some kind of joke or something? That is nasty. What? What is this? Chicken's mad. Chicken's mad, huh? Tango, we has had enough of you. You kill us no more. Come see me. I show you what real chicken is. Is this some kind of joke? Come to Big Grass now. What? Signed Clug. Who? Who is Clug? What? What is? Is this a joke? Listen. Chickens are meant to die. And who's ever Clug? Whoever Clug is? That's exactly what's going to happen here. Let's go. <laughs> so this clug chicken thinks he can call me out? I'm gonna let my sword answer that call, please. A chicken is a chicken, and there is not one alive that is gonna intimidate me, let me tell you. I'm gonna walk right up to this proud poultry, and I'm gonna kick his chicken butt right into... What is that? What? What? That is a big chicken. Okay, Clug the Overlord. <laughs> Alright, um... Okay, no problem, Tango. He's just a chicken. He's a 20-foot tall chicken, but he's just just a chicken with red feathers. Okay, well, let's, let's see what this guy does. Let's try and take him down. Come here, buddy. Whew. Oh, I'm... Oh, jeez! What do you got? What do you got? Okay! Exploding chickens! Oh, Alright, he's in the pit. What do you got? What do you got? Can I not hit this guy? Come on. What do we got here? Oh! 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 Lightning! Did this... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no! Oh! Alright, Clug. 
One more time here. You think you think you got what it takes? Oh, okay. Apparently, arrows are are a bad idea. Lightning bolts, huh? Lightning charged chickens. All right. Well, let me get some food here. I'm gonna show this club what's up. You and your little oh, your little minion chickens here. Ain't got time for you guys. Come here, buddy. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Die. Die. Too many of them. Get over here. Oh, giant eggs. Oh. Oh, I need to get out of here. Oh, I need to run. I need to run. Too many of them. God. These chickens. Can't even get near this guy. Oh. Die, die, die. Oh, take some of that. Oh! Oh, God. What is that? Why is he... Oh! 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 Get me out of here! <laughs> oh! Okay. Supercharged chicken of doom. Ah! Oh. I promise I won't kill any more chickens. Oh! 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 oh. Food! Food! Eat! Eat! Alright, Clug. Oh! You're not charged. I'm coming in. Oh, ignore these other guys. Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, too many. Get, get. Die, die. Oh, oh. We're running. Running very fast. Not fast enough. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. The whole army after me. Oh, these guys are going to kill me. Die, 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 die. No. Oh, that lightning. Oh. No, this is not where I want to be. This is inconvenient. Get me out of here. These chickens are going to come in here and kill me. Oh. How we doing? There he is. All right. Sword at the ready. Oh. 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 Come on. Regenerate. Give me health back. Oh. Oh. Bobbing and weaving. Bobbing and weaving. What do we got? Get, get, get. All right. All right. Cutting this guy off. Here we go, Clug. You and me. Bring it. Bring it. Go. Stupid chicken. All right, we are coming back, Clug. Clug, the chicken overlord. You may have gotten the best of me, but you're going down. See that little sliver of health? I'm going to remove it for you. You and your little supercharged friends of doom here. Mm. All right, here we go. You stuck? You stuck? What's the matter? Oh! 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 Get! 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 Ah! Clog, you're dead! Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, he's not dead yet! Oh, he's not dead! He's gonna kill me! Die! Die! Ah! There we go! <laughs> Clug the chicken overlord. <sighs> that was fun. <laughs> now that is what you call a giant-sized breakfast. <laughs> All right, guys, as usual, I had a ton of fun making this episode, in case you couldn't tell. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for the support on the first episode. Hit that like button again if you thought this was fun, and we are going to keep on doing it. Uh, from now until the end of the episode, I am going to go into uh, a little bit of detail on the code. So if that's not your thing, feel free to tune out now. No hard feelings. And uh, I'll catch you next time, but if you want to see how I did some of this stuff, stay tuned and we will go over it. <laughs> Alright, now that that's over, the last episode a lot of you guys were asking to see more of the code and how I did some of the things. This uh, episode had obviously a lot more code than the last one, so real quick I'm going to go over how some of this was done and I do want to stress that this is not good code I just hack things together if I coded like this at my real job I would be fired <laughs> alright so here we go I am first gonna show you what we did with the entity chicken right here um, first things first is it chicken obviously is no longer an animal it is now a mob and also had to do this implementing boss display data uh, this is basically so that you can get that, uh, you know, the, the, bar, the bar that shows at the top that normally the dragon and the wither have. So that's how we got him to show up there. Um, I basically gutted a lot of his AI modules here and added this new one called AI Commander, which I'll go into in a second. Um, but basically took out some of the chickeny things that he normally does. 
Uh, let's see, moving on here. This right here, I, there's a function I wrote called set overlord. This thing right here, which basically determines if he's the boss or if he's just one of the little red minions. Um, and now when the chicken is spawned with a spawn egg, which you'll see right here, this, is, this function is called, and that's how I know to set him as an overlord. So only if you create him with one of the eggs does he become uh, Klug the overlord. <laughs> Otherwise, he's going to be a normal chicken. This is where we're setting the max health, so that's 120 hit points, and uh, this right here is to increase the movement speed of the chickens, so I felt they needed to go a little bit faster for them to be a threat. Um, right here is angry is a function that basically says if he's an overlord um, and his angry tick is less than zero, which I'll go into in a second, but this is what drives whether or not he gets the supercharged cre uh, creeper outline. Um, is Overlord pretty basic, just is he Klug or is he not? Uh, let's see, moving along here. If I'm going too fast, let me know. I just don't want to dabble too long on the code. But set Overlord, like I said, um, does this craziness to actually flag him as an Overlord. And then if he's not an Overlord, we kind of revert some of his statistics to make him a little bit more manageable. These are just the little red chickens. So cut their health down to 10, set their max damage to 7 when they hit you. And the follow range is an interesting one. So these this, will, this is so that they will charge you from much farther away, up to 24, uh, 24 blocks away. And then these right here, I basically cut all of this right here directly from the creeper. This is what makes them charge you and uh, hit you when they collide. Uh, this right here, attack from entity, this is when the chicken is attacked himself. So if you attack an overlord with an instance of an arrow and it's from a player, well, they play the sound uh, Mobs Hurt, and then we add a little lightning bolt in the player's, right in the player's face. So that's the good times there. That was my anti-arrow code. So get you to have to go in and, and, and do the whole rough and tumble with, with Klug himself. Now this function here is when the chicken actually attacks someone. So this is for the uh, non-overlords, which is what this exclamation point here is, inverts the function call and basically plays a little hurt sound and then creates the explosion right where the chicken is. And this is the intensity of the explosion, not a very big one because I didn't want to have the uh, the battlefield full of craters make it hard. So just, just little explosions and then kill the chicken if the explosion wouldn't do it, which it probably would anyways. This is the living update function, which is constantly called. I didn't change anything except this here. So this is... What happens with Klug now is when he gets below half health, he kind of keeps toggling between this angry and not angry. And angry is when he gets that creeper glow, right? Well, like the, like you've seen on super supercharged creepers. So what happens is he starts counting down his angry tick, and as it's negative, he'll have that glow. And then once he gets down to 175, he kicks it back up here. So this is kind of what toggles his time back and forth between being angry and not angry. And when he's angry, well, I'll get into that in a second. I think... Everything else here is just all standard chicken stuff that didn't even really make sense anymore. All right, here is the entity AI commander I wrote. And technically, it didn't even really have to be a new AI module, but I decided to do it that way. So what it does is it says, should I execute? It only executes on the overlord. And if it is remote, which means this is the server running the logic here. Um, first thing it does is set some timeouts for the spawn timeout is how often he spawns his little minion, the little red chickens, or the big red chickens, I should say. And the lightning timeout here is how often he will try to blast nearby players with lightning directly. And then set a little custom name tag here, Cluck Chicken Overlord. Now the update tick, or update task, this is what's called every frame, basically every time the game updates. And there's two basic processes here that it's trying to do. This one here and this one here. Now the first one here is all about spawning uh, spawning chickens. So when this timeout is less than uh, zero and he's an overlord, what it does here is it counts the chickens that are within a certain area, this distance here actually, of the overlord. And if there's less than six, then it plays some sounds and drops an item egg. And that was that big giant item egg you saw, and I'll show you how that uh, actually spawns a chicken. Uh, and then just reset the spawn timer to a little bit of randomization so that we know when to kind of, for, for when he's going to poop out the next egg. This right here now is when he's angry, again, when he's less than half health, he kind of toggles between angry and attempts to shoot lightning on this timeout here. When that goes less than zero, basically there's 20 ticks per uh, per second. So every second... He's getting the closest player to the chicken right there, 
And if he finds him, he's adding a lightning bolt right on the player's face, as you can see there. So good times there. Uh, that's it for the AI commander here. If you guys are still watching, let's see, entity item here. This is more real hackery here. Um, let's see, where is it? Right, so I made this little function called is egg. So when it, an egg pops out, I wanted to give it a lot more motion so that it flies away farther because if it just dropped like a regular item, it was it would just be hidden inside Klug because he, he was so big. So egg specifically, I had to pop out even farther and give them a little bit more motion. And then over here, right, this is the total hack here. So when an item hits the ground, if it's an egg, this is where it actually spawns a new chicken at the position of the egg, says or tells that chicken that it is not an overlord, and then actually spawns it into the world, and then this just kills the egg itself. So this is the only little clip I added there. Now finally, over in render chicken here, this is where, right here is where it scales the chickens up. Um, you'll see 7F, that's 7, that's a floating point number, so there's the the overlord clug gets a 7x kind of render size and the little chickens are just rendered at 2x so twice this twice their normal size uh and then this right here is if he's an overlord then basically update that boss status bar at the top which basically just says update him with this chicken so fairly easy there um and then a lot of this right here is calling all the really low level Open GL calls, which is basically talking right to the graphics card. Um, I didn't write some, didn't write this, but this was basically ripped right from the Creeper code again, and this is to give him the render glow to show you that he's angry. Uh, I think that's enough detail. I, there's actually a lot more code here that went into this, but just to give you guys a taste of what it was, this one actually took quite a while of, uh, of mucking around with the code here, and this was done in 164. I tried it in 172, it had some issues with lightning bolts showing up. So, there you have it, guys.